Good afternoon GDS and welcome to a very special edition of Meet the Boss TV in which we interview Jamie Roberts. Jamie talks about his professional career, what enabled him to go on and be the success that he's been for Wales and for uh, his club, and also about some traits of an international rugby player and sports player um, that are very similar to GDS. Very similar to the way he drives himself, the motivation, the uh, desire and determination to succeed, what gets him back on form from a bad spell or, or from a, a dry uh, period in the game uh, and what allows him to really push on uh, and be the best in his field. Enjoy the interview and really take some key points away and apply it to your sales game. Roberts cuts in field and Roberts is still going. When I came in as a kid, well, I say kid, I was, I was 20, 21, the amount of confidence it gives you of one of the senior players coming up to you, shaking your hands, having a laugh and a giggle, having a joke is, is uh, priceless. And uh, for me, you know, guys like Martin Williams, Stephen Jones, you know, these players who are obviously the senior players when I came in as a kid, um, guys like Gethin, and, you, you know, as soon as, as soon as you have a... You know, they come up to you in the corridor, shake your hand, introduce yourselves, make sure you feel comfortable. That goes, you know, there's nothing which compares to that. You can't buy that. And uh, as a senior player, myself, younger guys come in, it's, you know, it's very important for us to make them feel welcome. I suppose as soon as they do feel welcome and comfortable in the environment, that's when they're going to excel. You know, I think there's nothing worse than someone who comes into a new environment and doesn't, you know, it's all well and good being quite shy and nervous. And I've seen players come into... You know the blues who are very, very timid and, and shy, which is which is understandable. But I think you need to meet and greet. You need to get to know people. And as soon as as soon as that happens, um, you know people relationships take off. Roberts cuts in field and Roberts is still going. Roberts has a clear run to the line. It's Roberts for the opening try. Each coach is a bit different. Sean's mental. Um, <laughs> he's you know he's he's pretty. Uh, Unlike any other bloke you've ever met, um, he's the sort of guy you don't really, you know, being in a lift with him, just you and him, or walking past a completely empty corridor opposite him, is just not where you want to be. He's, uh, <laughs> he's, got, he's nothing, he's, either that, it's one word answers um, to everything you ask him. Um, but he's quite, you know, quite aggressive in his approach and really, really, you know, psychs you up. And, and having come from a rugby league background, I, I assume that's where his attitude comes from. Um, and the others are just really emotional, you know, really passionate. You know, Warren's obviously a very passionate Kiwi, um, and he's brought that passion to the Welsh team. And uh, you know, you look at Howley and, and Neil Jenkins, guys who, have, who are legends of the game here in Wales. Um, you know, true heroes really. So everyone, everyone really respects what they say. I think we've we've got an environment where it's quite competitive um, with individuals. So, for example, the three or four centres, you would do fitness testing, you would do skills training. And they'll pin the results up on on the board for everyone to see. Um, and Warren Warren is quite clever in his in his approach with mind games as such. Um, you know, for example, I had a, I had a knee niggle throughout the Six Nations. I got injured injured uh, down in Twickenham. Uh, had two weeks before the next game, and uh, I was more or less a write off for that Italy game. And he slowly walked past me one day. I don't speak to Warren much. He doesn't speak too much to the backs. He sticks to the forwards. But uh, he just. Um, <laughs> He just said, uh, you know, you, you, you want to make sure you're playing. Someone might come in and take a position. Just under his breath <coughs> and walked away. <laughs> <laughs> you, you bastard. <laughs> um, uh, he's, uh, but it's, it's a joke. He was laughing, but it's, uh, there's a serious undertone to it. And uh, he's very clever in that way in, in which he manipulates people and, uh, and keeps you on your toes. And as I said, that public, I know, I know it isn't much, you know, pinning up results of certain individuals but for a player you know you don't want to be on the bottom of that bottom of that list you know i've been i've been part, i've been i've played poor games and been dropped and it's the worst thing it's the you know it's the worst thing in the world especially you see it plastered all over the press um everyone everyone talks about a poor game you're playing at the, at the time and uh, and you cannot let it affect you as simple as that and, and as players we all rally around each other it's um someone has a poor game you know, it's, it's a quick tap on the shoulder, you know, don't worry about that. Last week, mate, it's, uh, you know, you go out on the training park and get it right. It's about working harder. We all go through poor form. I've been through it myself. You know, whether you've got little niggly injuries and you're playing like a clown. Um, it's just important. You knuckle down, work hard and, and you come through it. 
you know, you've got to believe in the qualities. You've got to believe that you're good enough to be there because, you know, certainly at international level, um, a few poor games, you, you start doubting yourself. You start thinking, you know, am I good enough to, to play at this level? You've, you be, you've got to believe that you wouldn't be there otherwise. Yes, yeah, it's, it's ruthless. It's absolutely ruthless. And But that competition for places drives everyone. It's... Is, is what's important. If there wasn't competition for places, we we wouldn't we wouldn't be pushed to achieve. We wouldn't be pushed to succeed and and trying to be the best we can be because there's you know you're not competing against anyone. Roberts cuts in field and Roberts is still going. Roberts has a clear run to the line. It's Roberts for the opening try. We play in such an environment that it's pretty ruthless. You have a poor game, you you, you can be dropped. For the next game, um, and I suppose it's, it may be a bit different than business. Well, actually, no, it's the same. You know, you, certainly, business can be quite ruthless. If you don't perform, you may get the, the sack. Hopefully, not, nothing happens like that. <laughs> <Keep them up. laughs> Getting some beers next time. Right? Um, but it's pretty, yeah, it's pretty ruthless, and uh, that, you know, your mental strength needs to be right up there. You know, as soon as you start performing poorly. It's not about that downward spiral. It's, it's not about that at all. You can't afford that. You know, we'll have a training session. We'll call time on the session, but what you'll see is, is 80, 90% of the boys will stay out for an extra quarter of an hour just topping up their skills, and uh, that's a massive part of, of what we do. I think it's, it plays a huge part. You know, just going that extra yard, and you know then that you've put the hard work in. That's what I was saying earlier. It's all the hard work's in the preparation. Simple as that. Certainly for professional rugby, you work hard in your preparation. You go into a game comfortable. You go into a game a bit less, you know, apprehensive about about what's ahead. And uh, and for me, for me, that's what it's all about. You know, there's always room to improve as rugby players. I think you know everyone's got specific targets. The the way analysis is now done in rugby, everything you do in the game is broken down, and it's all facts and figures. At the end of the day, you'll see 15 guys crowded around laptops the morning after a game, usually hungover. Um, just just going through their statistics and comparing with other players and um, you know I, I got 12 turnovers today or three line breaks and I'll be like you know how many line breaks did you get how many tackles did you make how many tackles did you miss and you know your negatives will get picked up on in the team meeting up on a big screen and Sean Edwards will be like you know what the hell was this play the video and you just head down <laughs> and you're just waiting for it and as soon as you do it in the game you know you know that's coming and uh, you know that fear of failure, I suppose, that fear of of cocking up is is a big part again of what drives you forward because you know you're going to be publicly embarrassed in the team meeting the next day. So uh, yeah, that's a big part of what we do, and it's a competitive place to be international rugby. It's uh, as much as you are good friends with with all your fellow players. It's it's a competitive place to be. No one wants to be second best. Everyone wants to start in shirt, and uh, that competition brings out the best of everyone.